It's not often Liverpool against Manchester United is put in the shade, but for so many reasons, this is the weekend's most intriguing Premier League battle. And that's not even taking into account the vast bankrolls that both clubs now have at their disposal. Company's also there, but surely Rubinho will strike this. Always feel the anticipation around the ground. It's Rubinho! It's in! Unbelievable! Well, that's why they paid the money. Chelsea fall behind to just a free kick of complete genius. Well, he milks the applause. Let's just have a look. Well, in fact, it deflected in, didn't it, of Mikel Obi? Otherwise, I think Czech may have got it. Well, you also made the point that the wall needed cementing, and I think you're absolutely right because it fragmented there. You know, it wasn't the greatest free kick looking at the replay. Mikel Obi should have put his head there, not took his head away. That deflection took it away from Pelicek and Rubino gets his dream start. Lampard will take the free kick for Chelsea. Carvalho and Terry both up. It was towards John Terry, it hit Cole and thumped him by Carvalho. And Chelsea were only behind for three minutes. 1-1. One, one. Well, I've got to say, this is turning into a fantastic match. 16 minutes in, that's a great finish from Ricky. Got a little bit of a ricochet there, fell into his path six yards out. That's a great volley. I mean, it's not great defender. I think Mark Hughes will be really annoyed. John Terry gets the first touch. It falls down to Joe Cole, seven, eight yards out. I'll give him a bit more credit, Ricky, there. Great finish, top corner. And we are back in the game. But Singwell for Chelsea. Well, they advertised the pass, but City didn't clear it very well. And now ball's the wrong side, Joe Cole. Oh, what a sweet pass that is. Two waiting in the middle. And now it's done well to feed it out to Cole. And off the bar, but surely the whistle would have gone for offside. No, I don't think so. Well, well it would have counted, and Maluda. I've got to say, it was a great chance, flag stayed down. Well, I can't believe this, unless the defender there that Nicholas Anelka sort of sells a dummy to is playing him on. I mean, I, well, that is that's actually a good decision, and um, Maluda's nice and brave there, because he looks like he's going to get a right-hander from Joe Hart there. Joe. He's fallen for right Phillips, and he's got it back to Joe. Bit of space here for City. It's Joe's gone for oh. goal, and a very important deflection from Carvalho. That really was. Well, I think this is going in, and I really agree with you, Trevor. I think that uh, Ricky just gets enough here to flick it over that bar. He's just going to bend this into the far corner. Ricky just comes over, hits him on the shoulder, I think. And uh, as he's diving in there, and uh, you can see that just takes it over. I think that's going to hit the back of the net. I think he did too. Joe Cole. Lampard made a very intelligent run. No one in the middle, though. That's a poor clearance! And in the end, Hart managed to scramble back and save Anelka's shot. But City there in trouble all of their own making, really. Well, again, it's great play. Joe Cole threads the ball through to Lamps, who just feeds it across the goal there. Zabaleta, I don't know what he's trying to achieve there. Ashley Cole. He's oh. gone for goal! Oh, he my word. didn't miss by much. He caught that superbly. And the expression on his face tells it all, because Hart wasn't going to save it. Well, what a fantastic strike. This is great play as well. Deco just threads the ball through. No one closes him down. He's got no options there, so he thought, well, I'll give it a go. An absolute great strike, and I don't think Hart's getting anywhere near that if that's about six inches lower. I believe he won't want to take centre stage to Ravinho today, so he'll want to come on and play his part. And uh, as I said, I'm sure it's going to be just a small role, but let's hope it's profitable. Well, Rubinho's got himself out of a cul-de-sac there. He looked third favourite, still came away with it. Right, Phillips, that was travelling. It needed intercepting by Basingwa. Mikel Obi, Joe Cole, on to Lampard. The pace hasn't dropped, that's for sure. Lampard again. Still Frank Lampard! Yes! That's a fabulous goal! He had one ruled out for England in the week. This one's going to count, and from behind, Chelsea in front. Well, I've got to say, this is a great move. It started with Pozingo's interception. If he hadn't have done that, I think Man City would have been 2-1 up themselves. Great interception. There's his dad, Frank, a very proud man, and uh, it's a good breakaway. I think it's Mikel here, plays the ball to Joe Cole. Joe plays it to Lamps. Again, they play a, sort of a long one-two, if that makes any sense. Eventually, it falls to him, and uh, this is a great touch to take him past it. To be fair, the goalkeeper, I think he's un... His sight sort of blocked a little bit by the dive of, of Mika Richards. Great finish all the same. 
Yeah, Richard Dunn almost had to stand off Lampard because there was no way he could get to the ball without giving away a penalty by fouling him. And well, it was a precision finish from Lampard. Two goals for the season now. Right, Phillips, he's got away. He's got Rabinho making one. Look at Ireland. Stephen Ireland here for City. Oh, that Richard. is a fantastic challenge by Ricardo Carvalho. A goal-saving tackle. Well, he does two things here, Trevor. His first reaction after John Terry gets done here is to old Sean White Phillips. That does fantastic. Now look at him now. He comes across, he sees the danger for Stephen Ireland. That is a magnificent challenge, as you said. Cole, Joe Cole, Nicholas Anelka, couldn't get it under his feet for the shot, but Lampard oh. could, and I tell you what, he really fizzed that, and Hart did really well to hang on. Well, he did, I've got to say, a foot either way of Joe Hart here, I think this is in the back of the net, because he's hit so well, it would have been very hard for him to adjust his body, he gets a good arm behind that. Cole was beaten in the air, Deco. Once again, he was second favourite and still got the ball away to a colleague. Joe Cole now looking for Anelka to wrap it up. Brilliant. Superb goal from Chelsea. Surely they're out of sight at 3-1. Well, I've got to say, Trevor, this is a magnificent goal and Lamps's was different and, uh, and, and great, but this is great team play. And it's Joe Cole who eventually threads the ball through, but it's Deco again on the halfway line who just nips the ball away from Fernandes. It goes to Joe, and that's a great run off the shoulder. This is where I want to see Nicholas. And this is the first touch, toes it away, goes to Lamps, goes into Joe Cole eventually, and then he just threads that ball. Great pace on the ball. Nelka, nice, simple finish. Nikolovic. Great run. And a fine tackle by Dunn to end it. Oh, that was sloppy. Give it away straight to Joe. Now then, what does the referee do here? Terry will get at least a yellow. It's a straight red. No, that can't be a straight. That's impossible. That is a desperate decision because it, if he's the last man, Trevor, that's a sending off offence. There was two people around him. This is a knee-jerk reaction from Mark Owsley. This keeps him out of the Man United game next week and two others after that. This is a disgusting decision. And there's no way John Terry's the last man here. It's, it's a premeditated challenge, and without doubt, 100%, it is a yellow card. Well, here it is. Look at Ricky Carvalho. Without a shadow of a doubt, there's a covering defender. It's a shocking decision. If that's not uh, rescinded by the FA, there's something drastically wrong. Well, at least they will have the chance to appeal. You can't... If it had been a second yellow, there would have been no way. But with a straight red, at least you can appeal. And they will, without question, be doing that. Ireland. Stoppage time. Robinho. Nice. Oh, lovely turn right, Phillips. That was superb. And again. Just squeezed out by Fernandez. Now Sturridge. Another great challenge to deflect it wide of Czech's goal. Well, I've got to say, this is great defence. This is on his weaker side, the young man Sturridge, but uh, he still gets a decent strike with his right foot. And again, the boys are closing the ball down very, very well. Ashley Cole, and this time it's Alex who literally throws his body in the way. I think you could make an argument, Tommy, that in the end they were at, certainly outclassed, but also, you know, they'll have watched Chelsea's superior finishing, and that's been the difference. Yeah, it has. Sticking the ball in the back of the net is always key. We saw Robinho, they were living the dream for 15 minutes, Manchester City, riding on that wave, as I said earlier. But it's been a very professional performance from Chelsea, some great performances individually, but as a team, they've been unified. Ricky Carvalho, a couple of challenges. We saw dying for the cause, Alex late on there as well. And, uh, you know, when you go 1-0 down in 10 minutes at these sort of stadiums, you have to really fight. And uh, they thought today show great skill, great ambition. Robinho gave City the lead as early as the 13th minute. Carvalho equalised and then Frank Lampard there with a terrific second. Anelka made it 3-1 before Mark Halsey dismissed the Chelsea skipper John Terry in controversial circumstances. No doubt an appeal to that will follow. But Chelsea will take the points back down south. Winners here over Manchester City by three goals to one.